Ewy. The water has completely separated, but we're doing some damage. That is from 2007. Hello, beautiful people. It's another day in the life of Laura. Wonderful people and welcome to my channel however you may have stumbled upon this video today we are doing a long time dreaded task that had to be done I had to cut the ties I had to go through my makeup collection and declutter it was well overdue time for me to organize and what better time to do so than a time when we're like literally stuck at home quarantine style I am not lying when I say to you that I probably spent five or more hours like looking through all my makeup and deciding what to keep and giveaway and the perfect way to organize it and the perfect way to fit everything together and save as much room as I can and I figured that this would be a really really fun video for me to bring you guys along on because first of all it kind of shows you like my makeup collection and stuff like that kind of a double whammy. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys kind of the before of everything which literally is mind-blowing like if I look in some of these drawers now compared to how they were at the beginning of this whole process it's literally insane kind of me going through all of it and then i'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards hope you guys enjoy i know i'm super fortunate to have all this makeup and it's kind of rekindled my love for it because i realized how fun it is to like have time to experiment with makeup and i've also been looking at some of my old makeup tutorials which I'm not gonna lie they're kind of cringy but I was pretty good at them, so I might start doing those again, depending on how much time I have with online college and everything like that. Let's get right on into this video. Woo! star here which could potentially be very dangerous and overwhelming. I don't really even know what I'm doing here because with being in college and coming back and forth there's not really any like everyday makeup that I keep in this drawer because I have this at college which is where I put basically just the stuff I wear on an everyday basis. So in here is just all kinds of fun stuff. We'll get to all that later. First I'm going to start with taking it all out and then I'll kind of explain to you guys what I'm thinking about doing with it all. gigantic bag of all my makeup brushes that I haven't used in a really really long time but I really just need to clean most of these and then here I just have a bunch of lip products which I'm honestly probably gonna dump out on the floor to go through because I have a whole lip product drawer that's literally overfilling that decision to wear black leggings but basically just sorting things out at this step of the whole process. So I'm kind of doing the same thing with going through these two little drawers of my everyday makeup that I use. The things that I'm going to keep in here that I do know that I use every day is the... 
On top of here, I have some more palettes and I'll go through all of my palettes like at the end of this because I'm probably not going to get rid of any palettes. I just need to organize them. But this top drawer, I have little minis of mascara and then eyeliner. This is a good... Whoa, man. In here, I have so many blushes and highlights and bronzers, it's just crazy. So I'm going to sort those out. Oh boy, here we've got a bunch of base products, which are all probably pretty much gold. Ew, this is super old. I don't know if you guys can see, but like the water has completely separated. Right now, this can be trash. It just makes me so upset all these face makeup products that I've tried to use that I just don't like to wear face makeup other than concealer. Dang it, I just don't know. I don't know, I just feel like I should start fresh if I want to try any face makeup. This is so tricky. All these little tiny like dual things that I get in my Ipsy bags and stuff. I always think, oh my gosh, that's so pretty and convenient, but really it's kind of annoying to fit like a bronzing and blush brush without mixing it all together in tiny little things like this. Ooh, yikes. I just have to be super like hard on my decisions with this because I never like to let go of makeup so I need to just go for it and be brutally honest with myself. You guys just wait until I get to my lipstick drawer. It is like a war zone. We've already got a gigantic bag of stuff. Next. Oh goodness gracious. No. Does anyone else remember all of this divergent makeup? This is my first ever like high-end palette. I still love it. This Mary Kay makeup, which I'm sure my mom gave to me when I first started to wear makeup, is from 2007. I am like a swatched mess right now. Ewy, <laughs> this is supposed to be a cream eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, do I even want to know what this is, was made out of? This isn't even that old. I'm just keeping a little the balm stuff because it's so freaking cute. That is so cute. What's the tea? That's actually a really pretty color. This is my actual palette drawer. Right here we've got the Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows and One True Neutrals, the Gingerbread Extra Spicy Papa Toothpaste, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette, 
in Modern Renaissance. We've got lots of hearts. Heart is probably my favorite makeup brand. We've got the Carlin Bloom, the Original Partlet, the Partlet Toasted, Naked Basics, the Naked Reloaded, Lorac, Unzip, Benefit, Vanity Flare. I need to use this one more. This has some really pretty, like, just neutral shades. I could quit cropping everything. Lorac Pro. I love this one. Becca Eye Whites. The Still at Malite Palette. It's pretty old. Becca Volcano Goddess. Naked Cherry Urban Decay. The Original Naked Urban Decay. Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon's Palette. Lorac Los Angeles Divergent Palette. Makeup Forever. Palette 9. Artist Eyeshadow. Tarte Make Believe in Yourself. Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Cheek Palette. Naked Heat. Naked 2. Divergent Collection. Cheek and Highlight Palette. Hourglass. Dun Light Incandescent Light Ambient Palette. Morphe Eyeshadow Palette. 35F. The Disney Beauty and the Beast Cheek Palette. Oh, I love this so much. This is the Tarte Bling It On Amazonian Clay Palette. Anastasia Glow Kit. Some of these are all like little pieces of a set too, so this is just the Too Faced. Lavelle Carousel. I've got two. Still a Starlight Star Right palette. Naked Urban Decay Flush and Strip. Heart. Gigantic. Gigantic. Palette. Too Faced Stardust by Vegas and Urban Decay. Gwen Stefani Eyeshadow Palette. Flora Mega Pro. Too Faced. Yeah, I think this was part of the Lavelle Carousel collection. Urban Decay Beauty with an Edge Eyeshadow Palette. Flora Mini Mouse Eyeshadow Collection. A Mac Create It Yourself that I put some individual shadows in. And then this 15 Shade Ori Neutral Palette. The Laura Pirates of the Caribbean Collection. And the Tales All This Time Beauty and the Beast. These are more like the collector. This is the drawer that is absolutely going to take forever. So I'm going to go through this huge mess and then get back with you guys. Progress update. We're getting somewhere slowly, but we're doing some damage. As you can see, this is the third time I have wiped off my arm to test stuff. We've got some company. Lainey thinks I'm boring. And she's also shocked at how much makeup I've been my getting toast. Oh yeah, don't forget your toast. <laughs> Makes me like you're fighting over a pillow. Guys. Okay, bye. On top of the IKEA mom drawers, I think is what they're called, I just have this little file divider that I put some of my bigger palettes in that I want to get more use out of. I just also think the pink color scheme there that worked out looks super good, like on display and stuff. Moving on to the first drawer, we have my blush, bronzer, and highlight. And then I also have just a few little palette type things too that are in this drawer. Just all kinds of fun stuff like that. In the second drawer, my individual shadows. I've got everything from like MAC, Pixie, Tarte, The Balm. Just a whole bunch of little stuff mostly that I've gotten in like either sets or in my Ipsy bag. Three little blush and face palettes that didn't fit in the first drawer. In this little three organizer I have this that's pretty new that I thought was still good if I decided to test it out. Color correcting concealer from NYX and then this BB cream that I got in my Ipsy bag. And then these are just primers whether they be like face primers or eye primers. And then here are tiny little mascaras that I've gotten and eyeliners. In the third drawer, we've got all the rest of my palettes that didn't fit in this, which I'll show later. In the fourth drawer, this is such a huge transformation compared to how freaking many lipsticks and lip glosses I had before I went through. In here, I just have my lipsticks and lip crayons. And this little thing, I put my MAC lipsticks, Bite Beauty lip crayons and lipsticks, and then a little Bobbi Brown palette thing. The next fun drawer is all of my lip glosses. There's all kinds of fun stuff in there, as you can see. It's not the most organized, but I feel like I narrowed it down to few enough that, I mean, you can kind of see which ones... I have even though it's still super overwhelming. I guess I can just show you what the rest of the things I have in this are. I have a whole drawer with a divider of like rubber band scrunchies, different bobby pins, hair ties, stuff like that, and my hot tools. This is a drawer of just headbands and like hair stuff like dry shampoo, hairspray. This drawer, my friends, is a fun drawer. Face masks, pore strips, 
testers I've gotten. It's kind of like my self-care drawer, I guess you could say. I just have some candles because I'm addicted and I brought some of them back from college. Starting over here, I have Pillow Mist, the aromatherapy sleep lotion, and then just some hand creams right there. Thing of tinted lip balm and then just chapsticks, glossier, tweezer, and these little peach fuzz razor thing, MAC Fix Plus, and then an all-nighter setting spray from Urban Decay. I personally think that this is probably my favorite part. I have my Fenty Beauty lip glosses, which I wear all the time. They're freaking amazing. All of my tiny Stilla lip glosses. These are matte, but I really like them because they stay on forever. I have a ton, probably close to all of the NYX butter lip glosses. I was highly obsessed with them. Right here, I just have this empty thing that I might go through and try to pick some stuff that I want to try to use or try to test out, and I'll keep that there. Going across, I just have a bunch of palettes organized by like brand. Up here where I like get ready and have everything that I use every day, I have these two that I explained earlier that is makeup that I use in my everyday routine. Up here I have four little palettes that I either am using right now or I want to use. A moisturizing facial mist and then the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. In this container I have some lip glosses that I use all the time and then <laughs> That cat ear headband, I just wear for fun when I'm doing my makeup to keep my hair out of my face. <sighs> so yes, what a whirlwind. In conclusion, this is it folks. This is either stuff that I haven't used in forever, or honestly, just stuff that like pretty much probably shouldn't be used because it's pretty old. Like some of this makeup's from like 2015. All in all, this was a pretty stress relieving task. I would know this is pretty stress relieving. I'm trying to get Lainey to do a video with me. That would no. be really, really funny. All right. Please. Uh, Lainey, it would be so funny. You get to do it to me too. I don't want to dress like a little Bougie, but that's the funny yeah. part. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and maybe got some ideas of either like products you think look super interesting or ways to organize or maybe I just gave you the inspiration to go through your makeup or your closet or something and get rid of what you don't use and I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. I'm praying for you all and thinking of you all and thinking about the whole world through this whole situation. I also make vlogs. I really 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 want to get back into makeup because I mean, I have this setup. I have some time. I have the creative drive right now. So give this video a thumbs up and leave some comments down below if you would be interested in me doing some makeup tutorials or makeup videos or like favorites videos or anything like that. I have a really fun video in mind that might come out soon. I think I'm going to do it and I think you guys will really like it. So you should definitely stay tuned and click that subscribe button if you have not done so already as well as click that notification bell if you really 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 like care about knowing exactly when I upload video. I just drank coffee and it is now 9. You want to know when I started to do this portion of the video today? Like 4. It's 9. And I also did it yesterday. That'll be all for this video guys. I love you all so much. Don't forget to be a light and spread love not hate. I will see you next time guys. Woo. You know I love